This video is going to walk you through the steps listed um, underneath the, the red text um, in the, these bulleted steps. Uh, this is going to allow me to transform my airfoil that I created in uh, foil sim to the data points uh, that I can use to create the uh, airfoil in the CAD software we're going to be using called um, Inventor. So I generated an airfoil here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the geometry, bu geometry button and that's going to generate these data points. I'm basically just following through what's written here in these steps. So go ahead and read these steps and then, then continue watching the video to see what I'm doing. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and scroll up to the top of my data values and I'm going to start just underneath the X-C uh, and I'm going to left click and hold it and I'm going to select all of these data values and scroll down all the way to the bottom. I'm going to see something that says lower surface. I'm going to keep going all the way to the bottom. And now, once I've selected all of that, I'm going to let go of the left click. And now I'm going to copy it by doing, holding Control and then hitting C. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my L drive, student read only, show alter, um, under the airfoils folder. Um, we were doing airfoil design today, so under the airfoil design folder, there's an Excel document called graph conversion. I'm going to open that up and once this loads up I'm going to click and sell A5 okay and I'm going to hold control and then press V to paste so control V and that's going to paste um, all of my data points into this Excel document and I'm almost done, done now I got to fill in a couple of uh, couple more values for me to get my, my data points. So I'm going to type my name here and then when I put in the chord length I need to put that in inches. Okay so very important. So I'm going to go back and if I look at my chord it was um, 0.25 or 2500 feet. Uh, that has, that's actually three inches so I'm going to record this in as just uh, three and you can see that ends up giving me um, some converted values here. This gives me my X and Y coordinates and these are these values are going to be used when I create my airfoil in the, the CAD software. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save a copy for myself on the H drive and then I am going to submit a copy um, as well to the